Well, good evening and welcome to our first virtual open evening. I'm delighted that you can join us this evening and I hope you enjoyed listening to our pupils singing their own composition, Stronger. I hope you're all well and I'm sure we'll all emerge stronger from this current situation. Our song was written and composed by pupils in Year 8 in 2019 as part of a collaborative project that exemplifies all that we think learning should be about here at Deer Park. We aim to enrich and inspire. I'm Chiquita Henson, I'm head teacher of Simon Sester Deer Park School and chief executive of the Crinium Education Trust. I have a long association with the school and I'm passionate about our ethos and immensely proud of our school and the achievements of our young people. We recognise that we're living in truly unprecedented times, but as a resilient organisation, we're innovative. We're determined to maintain the rhythm and momentum of learning and our school calendar. Therefore, we're finding new and creative ways of doing things. And this event this evening is just one example alongside many others that we have done during the period of lockdown or the COVID pandemic. We're very disappointed that we're unable to offer you an opportunity to visit our school during the school day. But we have been delighted that so many of you have come along to our out of hours tours. This evening, with the aid of some footage from pupils and parents, I will endeavour to share the essence of Deer Park with you. Siren Sister Deer Park School is an 11 to 16 comprehensive school and we tailor our curriculum to meet the needs of all of our learners. We take account of their different starting points and challenge them to be the best they can be. In our celebrations of their achievements, I'm equally proud of those who make progress as I am of our highest attainers. We take care of our site and we work tirelessly to ensure we're able to provide our pupils with high quality learning spaces. In 2017, we resurfaced our all weather pitches in 2018, we opened our new classroom suite and in January 2020, with the aid of a grant from the Savoy Education Trust, we completed the refurbishment of design, specifically our new food and textiles classrooms. As a head teacher, I work closely with our trustees and members of our local governing body, and I'm pleased to be able to introduce you this evening to Adrian Danks, chair of our local governing body and parent to one of our pupils now in year nine. Unfortunately, Adrian isn't here at the moment and hopefully if he's able to join us, um, we'll uh, bring him in to you at that point. I do apologise. Uh, I'm being advised by my technical advisor and support, Liz Lang, our deputy head, that uh, he, he may be able to join us later. I'd like to move on. The structure of our presentation focuses on some frequently asked questions and I've chosen to respond uh, by sharing some images of pupils with you at the school. Our first question that we're often asked on a normal parents evening or during an open morning is what do we want for your child? The simple answer is we want what you want. We share your ambitions and aspirations. We want them to be happy and to see them thrive. We want them to enjoy coming to school and to see them grow academically and socially into resilient, resourceful, independent, lifelong learners and responsible, confident citizens able to make informed decisions and positive con contributions into the communities in which they will learn and work. We want them to feel challenged but supported we invest in high quality teaching and support staff. For example, our pastoral team includes full time year leaders, not teachers, year leaders who are dedicated to liaising between pupils, parents and staff. They have a wealth of experience, including mentoring, young carers, careers, information and guidance and safeguarding. By working together in this way and pooling our expertise, we have the capacity to be proactive as well as reactive. In preparation for this evening, I would normally stand on stage and speak to you after you've visited all of our classrooms and on stage with me would be pupils from year seven to, to 12 joining to reflect on their experience. And I'd just like to introduce you to Isabel. Isabel has prepared a video for us 
and she's going to reflect on her first few weeks at Deer Park. Hi, my name is Isabel and I started at Deer Park not long ago and by the first day I already wanted to come back. I was so nervous seeing so many new faces I didn't know anyone. I quickly started to make friends which made it all the more better. On the induction day I was so nervous. I haven't met anyone. I, anyone. I was so scared yet excited to meet my new tutor. But once I met her, I liked her instantly. On the first day, I met my other tutor, Miss Crouch. She was very kind and sweet. She took us into the ITT rooms where we logged in to work on people for the first time. In maths, our first lesson with Mr. Ellen was very funny because he was half an hour late. One Spanish class, then you were older to play the game if he said the Spanish word correctly, we repeated it. If he said it incorrectly, we stayed silent. The first time we won 5-3, three, three. the second time we won 5-0, no. so his revenge failed. In science, our first science lesson, our teacher, Mrs. Miller, did loads of experiments like hand through fire, exploding balloon, and element, Everett toothpaste. In history, we got to solve the mystery of a murder, Thomas Beckett's murder. In PE, we have been able to do fitness and netball. In English, in additional English, we've logged on to Star Reader, so when you finish a book, you take a quiz. I've already done a quiz. So Isabel has reflected on her first day there and given you an example of the range of topics that she'll have covered uh, during her school day. And the school day isn't a typical school day at the moment because we've offered our year seven pupils alongside all our other pupils a staggered start. Uh, we have a staggered start, staggered break, staggered lunch times. And unlike a normal school day at Deer Park, our pupils remain in their classrooms and our teachers move to them. But hopefully we'll be able to get back to normal as soon as possible. Another question that we're frequently asked is how will your child be challenged to achieve more? Achieving more is our mantra here at Deer Park and your child will participate in engaging, dynamic and inspiring lessons. Yesterday, for example, I observed pupils learning in response to a range of creative stimuli. In year nine, they were learning about sustainability while making bread and butter pudding and building wind turbines and others were making nets for their cardboard models in product design and others were having go at fabric painting in textiles. To inform our teachers planning, pupils are currently completing baseline assessments. Our year seven pupils recently completed their cognitive ability tests and this data will help our teachers plan both for recovery where there may be any gaps and to accelerate the pupils learning by providing further challenge and engaging activities. We use the information we receive from your child's primary school, their performance data and our own assessment tools to inform our differentiation. Teachers frame open questions which encourage curiosity and because these are targeted, they stretch and challenge pupils of all abilities. In year seven, pupils are currently set by ability in maths, science and computing. This is our STEM pathway and we hope our pupils as they progress through the school, will develop the knowledge, skills and understanding they need in order to take advantage of wider opportunities when they make their choices at 14, 16 and 18. Outcomes in maths, science and English are consistently strong. This year, it, 33 pupils, more than a whole class, each attained five or more of the top grades with their centre assessed grades. A total of 83 grade nines were awarded across the curriculum. We identify and work closely with key groups of pupils, including those with special educational needs and those with high prior attainment. Pupils at Deer Park have taken part in the Brilliant Club. This has given them the opportunity to work alongside PhD students at Russell Group Universities and engage in research projects and then graduate alongside them. Similarly, our linguists travel to Cadiz to take part in our Spanish exchange and following similar experiences at the school and at the University of Oxford, each year a delegation of pupils travels to the Netherlands to take part in a model United Nations conference at our partner school, Alfrink College. 
And this year we're already planning to make sure that that opportunity can go ahead, albeit in a virtual environment in February 2021. Tasks are tailored to meet the needs of our pupils and within their home learning, there is challenge and scope for choice and creativity. You're welcome to dip in to show my homework on our website and see the range of homework set for each year group across the school. During lockdown, our staff were very quick to adapt their practice and we were able to move to online lessons in Microsoft Teams very quickly. This enabled our pupils to continue with their learning and stay connected with us, their teachers and their peers. Between March and July, we taught over 2,900 lessons in Microsoft Teams and attendance and engagement were consistently strong. Many parents and pupils particularly welcomed the attention we gave to their well-being by providing a weekly session with their tutor alongside their active lessons in their subjects. We offer a rich and diverse programme of activities, all of which include an element of personal challenge, including those in our annual enrichment week. All of our pupils in year 10 have the opportunity to complete a full week's work experience. And this weekend, just this weekend gone, 57 pupils from Sirencester Deer Park School successfully completed their qualifying expedition for their bronze Duke of Edinburgh award. I'd like to introduce you now to Tanwin. Tanwin, I'm sure, will introduce herself to you, but she reflects on her learning during her time with us at Sirencester Deer Park School. Hi, my name's Tanwin. I'm currently in year 12 and a past pupil of Sirencester Deer Park School and a proud member of the COVID class of 2020. I've been asked to talk to you today a little bit more about my journey and my experiences. And I'm going to try my best to answer any of the questions that I think you might have. Just so you know a little bit more about me, I chose to take triple science, music, history, Spanish with English and maths for my GCSEs. And now I'm right next door at Sirencester College studying biology, chemistry, maths, and hopefully I'm going to go on in the future to study medicine. If we rewind about five years, 12 year old me was sat in my first ever tutor time, equipped with a lot of stationery and a bag that made me look a little like a turtle. I was feeling excited, but also quite worried. If I look back on myself as a year seven, I didn't really have much confidence. I was quite happy to blend in and not stand out. I also didn't come from a feeder primary school, so I didn't know very many people. But deep down, I knew I didn't want to be that person and I wanted to be different and I did want to stand out. The following years involved a series of huge changes and experiences which had a massive impact on me as a person. Being in an environment that allowed me to mature and grow as a person, I now feel more confident and self-assured that I'll be able to succeed in the rest of my life through going to Deer Park. I think, as with everything, the more effort and willingness that you put into it, your school will give you the most out of it. It's truly impossible to get bored at Deer Park. This school has created a culture where the children don't just have fantastic grades, but they nurture and shape you into an individual who has a vast range of skills and talents. There is an opportunity in every aspect of your school life. From the DP department, where they have the young leader and games captain and ambassadors. They also have the sports teams of football, rugby, tennis, netball, hockey, and much more, including athletics and cross country, which are a personal favorite of mine as my PE teachers recognized it. It was something that I was really interested in and they helped me get to representing the Southwest and competing in the nationals. But if you do like running, then you're gonna have to learn to like mud. But if sports isn't for you, then there's Model UN, School Council, President and Vice President Ambassadors, which as being a part of, I'd say that they were life-changing for me. They taught me how to speak to large groups of people and put my opinion across and talk about things that really, really mattered to me. There's also a massive music department at Deer Park and they put on several shows and events throughout the year. They also have clubs including drama and dance and ukulele group and guitar group and you can also take lessons. They also put on an absolutely amazing musical every other year. Last year we did Grease and it really was a whole school production. There were children involved in costume design, the cast, sound and lighting, the set design, the band and I was part of the band playing live music every night. And it was one of the best experiences I think I've had at Deer Park because it brought so much joy and 
being a part of something that was just so wonderful. And I'd really urge you, if that's something that interests you, to go part of the music department or anything else that really interests you because it really makes your school life. At Deer Park you'll meet some of the most amazing, engaging, committed and caring teachers that are just willing to go above and beyond for you really. They don't teach out of textbooks or using pen and paper anymore, but each lesson is different, new and innovative. I remember dressing up when we studied Macbeth to act out the scenes in English, carrying out practicals in science, dissecting hearts in biology. And we also have the pleasure of going on amazing trips as well. Some highlights have been the Big Bang Fair, the National Poetry and Science Lectures, Shakespeare Live Performances in Stratford-upon-Avon and Cheltenham. Not to mention the trips abroad that I've had the privilege of travelling to Berlin as part of my GCSE history trip. It was also the first time I went on a plane. But we got to go to a concentration camp and museums and see the Berlin Wall, which really helped me in my mock exams that I took. I also got to go on an enrichment trip to Holland where we went to the Van Gogh Museum in Anne Frank. You can choose what interests you and I think that's really important. So I want to wish you all the best of luck with your big decisions and where you go next year. Thank you for listening and I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Tanwin. Another question that we're asked uh, frequently on an open morning or open evening is what do we specialise in? Simon Sister Deer Park School specialises in high quality comprehensive education and being the best we can be every day. We challenge everyone to achieve more than they first think is possible. I'm pleased that Ofsted, when they visited the school in 2017, noted that overall pupils at Deer Park make more academic progress than they do in the majority of other schools across the country. And we recognise our pupils' efforts and attainment in our annual celebrations of achievement. Other schools may say they're specialist in one or two areas. Specialist Schools was an initiative in the 1990s and 2000s. Funding was withdrawn in 2010. Up to this time, we had five specialisms, but we were and remain fundamentally committed to ensuring a balance across all of our subjects in our rich and diverse curriculum so pupils of all aptitudes can build on the skills they already have and furthermore gain new experiences in other areas that are equally strong at Deer Park, including sport and the arts. We aim to help our pupils find what they enjoy and are good at. We put support in place to challenge them to be the best they can be. Again, on a normal evening, I would stand with members of our school community and reflect on our vision and values. One way in which we can do this this evening is by inviting a parent uh, Joanna Pope to reflect on her experience of having three children very different at the school. Hi, I'm Jo and I have three children, a son who has just left Deer Park, a daughter in year 10, starting her GCSEs, and a daughter in year 8. I've been asked to reflect on my experiences of Deer Park as a parent and I thought I'd start off by going back six years to when we were first looking at secondary schools. Having not been in a secondary school for decades, the process seemed a bit daunting we didn't really know what we were looking for, but when we looked around Deer Park, we knew that we had found the right place. What appealed was that despite being a large school, it was friendly. We liked the green and open setting and the pupils appeared engaged and calm. It seemed a school with clear leadership, a strong ethos and somewhere that would prepare our children for later life. Once we had chosen Deer Park for our son, we didn't assume that our daughters would automatically follow him. Three times we followed the local secondary schools and for each child, we agreed that Deer Park was right. So last year, all three of our children were in the school, three completely different characters with different needs and interests. We've always felt the school has, has a strong supportive approach to the children's academic work. But as I think about it, I realise how much Deer Park has been able to provide them beyond the academic curriculum. Music lessons, flute club, Deer Park players, songwriting, Duke of Edinburgh, BBC Young Reporters, Readathon, High Achievers, Talent ID, school productions of Footloose, Legally Blonde and last year's amazing production of Grease. Young Leaders, Brilliant Club, Theatre Trips and Gay Enrichment Week, Private Peaceful, Trips to France and Holland, Toothpaste Challenge, Spanish Exchange, Institute of Sports, School Netball and Athletics Teams, District and County Sports, School Council and Dyslexia Club. And this long list, which by no means is exhaustive, refers to opportunities our children had in a pre-Covid world. Some of them are still running. This weekend, my daughter spent two days completing her Duke of Edinburgh expedition, 
but we can't avoid the fact that school life is currently very different. When school shut down in March, Deer Park was quick to react. Online lessons began almost immediately. As the lockdown situation evolved, so too did Deer Park's learning provision, including online tutor sessions. By the end of the summer term, the whole school was running to a full timetable, as well as providing online awards evenings and virtual Young Musician of the Year. A word I have heard used repeatedly at Deer Park over the years is resilience. As this new school year starts and the situation remains ongoing, I believe that Deer Park will continue to demonstrate this resilience, finding new ways forward that ensure pupils continue to learn and to get the support and opportunities they need regardless. As I mentioned at the beginning, our son has now started a new sixth form. As we hoped, Deer Park has prepared him well for the next stage of his life, with confidence and GCSE results that reflect his hard work, but also demonstrate the support and dedication of Deer Park staff. Meanwhile, our daughters are thrilled to be back at school with their friends. And whilst all of these things matter to us as parents, there is one thing that really stands out. Our three very different children are very happy at Deer Park. Thank you, Mrs Pope. It's always a privilege to receive feedback like that. And I know that uh, the Pope children have got a tremendous amount out of being pupils at the school. And that's characteristic. The more you put in, the more you take out. And we make sure that we provide our young people with those opportunities so that they can thrive. Another question that we're often asked is what makes Deer Park different? I think you'll have got a flavour of that from both Tanwin and Mrs Pope. We're a leading school. We're open to new ideas and partnerships. We formed a multi academy of trust in partnership with other schools and the opportunity for collaboration has provided insights into the key stage two curriculum, which has given us an indication of where our pupils come from and what they already know and can do and has enabled us to challenge them much more quickly after they've joined us. Similarly, as a result of our close proximity to and partnerships with Simon Sester College and the Royal Agricultural University, we're able to offer our pupils further challenge and guidance. This helps them prepare for the next phase of their learning, where they'll be required to be even more independent. We are a resilient school. We embrace challenge and change. We promote a strong can-do ethos. We aim to instill open and positive mindsets, as these will enhance both our pupils' learning and their life chances. We are creative, innovative and outward facing. This is reflected in our repeated achievement of the International Schools Award, which recognises the extent to which the global dimension is embedded within our own curriculum. I'm proud of our ethos. It is one that Ofsted highly commended. They found pupils, parents and staff all subscribe to it enthusiastically. Here in our school is a great sense of team and a feeling that we're all in it together. This is shown in the rapport that exists between our pupils and staff and in the quality of these relationships. We all roll up our sleeves and get stuck in. I was privileged to lead our first team of 25 year 10 pupils to Ghana, where we had the opportunity to volunteer as teachers, teaching assistants and sports leaders. And they not only made a significant difference, but demonstrated tremendous resilience and global citizenship. Our fourth and fifth teams are preparing for their now joint trip to Ghana in 2021. One unique, one unique feature that is valued by pupils and their parents is our curriculum. We maintain a rich and diverse curriculum and we constantly review it to make sure that we re can respond to new initiatives, uh, new guidance and make sure that we deepen our pupils' knowledge and understanding of the world around them. Characteristically, at Deer Park, we start our new school year in June when we roll our timetable forward. This maintains the rhythm and momentum of learning throughout the school year and helps us achieve a crisp start in September by removing any uncertainty. Consequently, this enables us to retain the full breadth of our curriculum in Key Stage 3, but allows pupils in Year 10 the opportunity to have two full years working on their GCSEs and other year groups, especially those in year seven, walk tall as they're no longer the youngest pupils in the school. 
This gives us the capacity to focus on preparing for our new year sevens. And with the support of primary head teachers, we're able to offer our pupils two induction days over the course of which our new pupils follow their actual timetables. I know I'm biased, but I'm especially pleased when parents tell me they appreciate the warmth with which they received and how much they value events like our interactive and informative learning conferences for each year group. This year, these have become virtual events and we saw similarly high levels of engagement during our first learning conference for parents of pupils in year seven last week, which enabled parents to gain an insight into our maths, English and science curriculum in terms of what pupils will learn this year and what the challenges they will face and be supported through. Visitors often comment on the buzz around the place and the sense of excitement for learning. I was thrilled last year when this was echoed on one of our open mornings when one family engaged me in conversation and commended us on the special feeling within the school. They said they had seen happy pupils and smiling teachers. This has been difficult to capture in our out of hours tours, which I know many of you have already done and plan to do. And to give you that impression of what the school is like, we're currently in the process of editing some video footage of children over the last few weeks so you can gain a little bit of an understanding of what a typical experience might be. But speaking of which, we've invited Tobias in year 10 to reflect on his experience of being a pupil at the school. Hi, I'm Tobias Evans and um, I came to Deer Park from a small primary school in Stroud. I didn't really know anyone, but I made lots of friends very fast thanks to Deer Park being so helpful and welcoming and inviting to me. Every teacher in each faculty are very enthusiastic about their topics, so it's very like fun to have that opportunity to then be encouraged to push for more work and stuff like that. Enrichment Week is very fun as it allows you to have the chance to just travel the world basically with your friends and just go to different places and learn about stuff. It's really amazing. I don't know what I'm going to do in the future. I, I have no clue. But the options I'm doing at Deer Park give me the chance to have a wide range of options to choose from when I leave. Thank you, Tobias. We aim to work with you through the process of induction. Uh, we have induction days and we have a primary challenge day. We have a comprehensive induction programme and to ease the transition from primary to secondary school, we reach out to pupils in their primary schools and invite them in for our primary challenge or induction days. The primary challenge day is targeted for those pupils who may be the only child coming from their primary school and therefore may, may not only be unfamiliar with the site, but also unfamiliar with other pupils in their year group. It gives them an opportunity to meet and work in teams so they get to know somebody before they join the school um, on the induction day and join the rest of the pupils in their tutor group. This year during lockdown, Mrs Hannis, our permanent year seven year leader, telephoned every pupil joining us in September and we were able to invite them in small groups into school for a morning or afternoon to meet with their tutors before we closed for the summer holiday. Normally, we offer our pupils two induction days in July with an induction evening where pupils join me again on stage to reflect their experience of their time at Deer Park with us, particularly those pupils in year seven who accept that challenge and join me having just been in the school for five hours. We hope our, our year seven year leader will be able to visit every child in his or her primary school this year and we are able to invite those to our primary challenge day as well as our induction days as soon as we can get things back to normal. This will definitely help them meet with others and make new friends. Willoughby has been with us just for the first four weeks. He's also in year seven and we've invited him to share his experiences with you this evening. Hi everyone and my name is Willoughby and I've been at Deer Park School for four weeks now. I came from Kemble School, where there is only around 100 pupils in the school. I chose to come to Deer Park because I really like sports facilities, as I love to play all sports, particularly football and cricket. 
as they are my favourites. Although I came from a small school, I still knew quite a few people. However, it was still very anxious before I came here on my first day. I came with my best friend Finn, and we helped each other through these initial weeks, reassuring each other that there will be, it will be okay. Having over a thousand pupils at Deer Park is quite scary when you come from a small school, but I feel very accessible already. I have lots of new friends, and it is a big chance and a big change for any new people. But the teachers have been very good and helped us at and supported us a lot. I'm still yet getting used to my timetable and all the extra homework I now have to do, but I'm very pleased I've chosen Deer Park as my school. Even the food is great. I particularly like the hot waffles. They are fantastic. My last comment would be, it is okay to be nervous and scared about coming to secondary school, but I feel I am in the best place for me to learn and grow academically. But more importantly, as a person, I hope you decide to join us too. Thank you. Thank you, Willoughby. During the course of the evening, we've mentioned a lot of things and I appreciate there's a lot of information to take in. Uh, I know that you'll want to take time to reflect on what you've seen and heard and please keep following our website for key dates. Uh, we know that uh, parents need to make an application uh, for admission to secondary school by the 31st of October and then you'll be informed on National Allocations Day on the 1st of March. Similarly, we'll be looking forward to your pupils joining us for our primary challenge day and our induction days in July, June and July um, 2021. In preparation for that, though, I know some of you have got some questions and during the course of this evening, I've been keeping my eye on some of the questions that have been coming in. And just to pick up on a couple of those, uh, one person has asked about our year leaders. Uh, we have a fixed year seven year leader, Mrs Hannis, who becomes an expert at liaising with all of the different primary schools. We have children come to us from as many as 45 to 50 different primary schools and therefore there's quite a few there who are the only child coming from their school as well as those who come from nearby schools in larger groups of 25 or 30. Our year eight year leader is also fixed and she works very closely with Miss Hannis to ease the transition from year seven into year eight. Our year nine year leader works alongside her colleagues in year 10 and 11 and our leaders in that area of the school ro rotate with their year group. So Mrs Ellison, who is currently um, our year 10 year leader, had the pupils in her year group when they were in year nine and will go on to have them when they're in year 10 as well. That way we get the best opportunity. They really become familiar with the children in their year group and within the team, they're able to share the expertise that they have between them. Another question that's come up in the question uh, bar is one about our catchment area. Sirencester Deer Park School essentially serves the community of the town of Sirencester itself and drops down to the uh, village of Kemble and along to the villages of Coates and Sapperton and Frampton Mansell. However, in the last six years, everyone who's wanted to join the school has been able to get a place owing to local demographics. We can't guarantee that will be the case this year, but an initial indication of our numbers of children of secondary school who will be of secondary school age in 2021 within Sirencester Town itself continues to be broadly similar to what it's been in previous years. Consequently, we have pupils who come to us from much further afield from the villages of Horsley, Nailsworth, Painswick um, and uh, South Cerny and Ashton Keynes. Someone else also asked about the SEND provision. Our SENCO, Mrs Crew, uh, works tirelessly to ensure all pupils are well supported and we have a team of teaching assistants who provide support in class. It's a very inclusive model where we want to make sure that all of our young people are able to take advantage of the opportunities uh, that exist across the curriculum and that we aim to cater for their learning needs as best we can. There are occasions, however, where we put reading recovery or spelling recovery in place. We put support in place for dyslexic pupils, including our, our LIFT programme, uh, which again, Mrs Crewe and her team lead 
uh, to ensure that all pupils can access the curriculum as they move through the school. But if you have any specific questions or concerns around the provision for pupils with special educational needs, then please don't hesitate to contact us and we can put you in touch with Mrs Crewe. The other question that came through is someone has observed that we've got some outdoor learning taking place on site. Uh, we have a, a polytunnel and we offer a course in Key Stage 4 in horticulture. Again, that's a course that some pupils choose to take and then they follow and progress into land based studies um, in post 16 providers. At present, we don't encourage uh, pupils lower down the school uh, to work within the allotment. Although within their science lessons and their PSHE lessons, we are going to be looking at a project involving rewilding uh, the school site in partnership with the Royal Agricultural College. And I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunities for them to get involved there. I'm just going to quick, quick look at the other questions that have come through. Um, Somebody wanted to know whether or not we have a debating society. At present, we do do public speaking. All pupils in their GCSE in year 10 uh, complete, a, complete a speaking assessment. Uh, and we do support the Model United Nations debates uh, through an after school club and activity where pupils get to practice putting forward motions and amendments. So although it's not a formal debating society, it is something that we are able to to offer our pupils in terms of model United Nations and equally we enter local competitions where some of our pupils again have been very successful in presenting, um, making a speech or contributing to a wider debate, debate or a mock trial um, as a form of role play. The other question, out of hours tours, most of our out of hours tours are now fully booked, uh, but please don't hesitate to contact our admissions secretary by email who will be able to advise you if and when any times or dates are available, or we may be able to make um, uh, additional accommodation for you to have a look around the school. I understand from Mrs Lang that we've now got um, Mr Danks on the line. Uh, Adrian Danks is, as I said at the beginning of the meeting, our chair of our local governing body, as well as a parent of a pupil in year nine. Hopefully he'll be able to join you now. Uh, thank you, Miss Hudson, and uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my apologies for the technical difficulties. Um, so uh, when I spoke at, to parents at last year's open evening, I, uh, I talked about the experience of a new parent and pupil, uh, and I spoke about the reasons my daughter Martha, now in year nine, uh, selected Deer Park herself as her first choice, even having passed the 11 plus. And in particular, I talked about how the open evening event had significantly influenced uh, that decision for her and us as parents. So it's a real regret for me uh, that I'm not speaking to you whilst we're all in school together uh, and that you are not experiencing the school, its ethos and the enthusiasm and camaraderie of the pupils first hand. Uh, I hope, though, that through a combination of the out of hours tours and with the aid of the content that we've seen from pupils and parents tonight, uh, you will still get some sense of, of what Deer Park is, is really all about. Um, so when Martha joined in year seven, she encountered all the obvious challenges, trying not to get lost, uh, managing the bus uh, and just getting to grips with a whole range of subjects delivered through a structured timetable. However, however, her uh, her cohort of friends that joined with her and very soon some new friends too rallied together to find out where to, they had to go by when uh, and, and how to get there in no time at all. She told me that her subjects were really engaging leap forward from from the primary school experience and dare I say even fun. She singled out science because of its practical elements, uh, English, especially the, the, the private peaceful trip. Uh, religious philosophy for learning about other religions and particularly music and performing arts where we already knew Martha had a passion but here it really has been brought to the fore by the expressive arts department uh, culminating in that wonderful uh, Greece production last year. They've been quite different with all that lockdown brought but during the pandemic, I have witnessed firsthand the resilience of the school, both its staff and its pupils under lockdown conditions and in the subsequent full reopening. 
And whilst I do sincerely hope that your children join Deer Park in under more no normal circumstances, uh, I think it's pertinent to talk about the way in lockdown I witnessed the energy and commitment of both staff and pupils who were still full of desire to teach and learn. Uh, I saw sensitively managed workloads set on the Satchel One Show My Homework app, which, by the way, is a really useful tool to both engage with your children on their homework and to better understand what they are learning about. Uh, in lockdown, Deer Park teaching staff delivered over 2,900 live, let live lessons via Teams, uh, and there was additional tutor time uh, sessions too. And I, I personally have been involved in many wider enrichment activities, such as the virtual VE Day celebrations, our young musician and young singer competitions, and the Key Stage 3 Celebration of Achievement e event, to name but a few. Uh, so when the school reopened in September, the first priority of the school, and for us as a governing body, uh, was to ensure the safety and security of the pupils, and indeed everyone attending school. And clearly there's been a requirement to assess where pupils are in their learning on, the re on their return. But I think it's telling that the school did not just plunge pupils into a series of tests, but have rather eased the pupils back in. And as a result, what I see is a happy school, despite the new regime, regimes with distinct year bubbles and new layouts and split timetables to enhance pupil safety. So to give you some further perspective as chair of the local governing body, as opposed to, to that of a parent, uh, what I've seen is a real focus from Ms Henson and her team on monitoring performance, self-evaluation and curriculum planning that especially makes Deer Park stand out amongst its peers. My experience of this school then continues to be very much what I hope for as a new parent and I would heartily recommend this school to you as prospective year seven parents and pupils. So thank you. I will hand you back after all the technical difficulties uh, to Ms Henson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian, and I appreciate your kind words there. Uh, I'm conscious that we said this presentation would be less than an hour. Normally on stage, I would be about 35 minutes and we've just exceeded that a little bit. I'm very grateful to those pupils um, who allowed us to share their videos and to Mrs Pope and Mrs. Mr Danks uh, for their contribution as well. I'm mindful that some of you have still got questions on the toolbar that haven't been answered yet, and I'll answer those uh, once we've closed the presentation and you should be, still be able to see them. I'm also grateful to Mrs Lang, who behind the scenes has been trying to uh, stage manage the production. Um, and uh, we're still new at this and we're still learning, but we're prepared to give it a go. And that's what's really important at Deer Park, is we want our young people to have the confidence to step out of the crowd to be brave, to be bold and to make a difference and do something different um, by way of making a positive contribution to the community, uh, their family or indeed our own school. So thank you very much for joining us this evening. We hope we will see you um, face to face at some point in the future um, and maybe uh, we'll look forward to welcoming your children to the school on their induction days in July and again in September. Thank you very much again for your time this evening and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.